some Irish stouts. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so this is what I got going on. Starting to look like a hand, like straight out of Mordor. Welcome to With The Wild, our uh, off-grid outdoor adventure YouTube channel. Uh, happy St. Paddy's Day. Today I'm uh, hiking in a few kilometers. Uh, the four-wheel drive stopped working in my truck. So whenever I need to get kind of supplies into the, uh, the cabin, I have to borrow my mom's truck at the moment because her four-wheel drive works. And uh, we're just not at the point right now where the snow is melted enough and the consistency of snow, because it melts and it's, uh, it's even harder to walk through because it's just so slippery. So the traction of the tires, even though my mom's truck is spiked and has four wheel drive, like getting through this spot here just seems very hard just keeps getting stuck and I have to keep backing up and getting it through because there's still about a foot of snow and it's all ice underneath and condensed with water so anyways we're hiking in today we're gonna have you know pretty good day I hope I'm gonna be uh, trying to put together um, a cinder block uh, evaporator for boiling down some maple syrup I want to try to get about 10 more buckets uh, installed for collecting sap and uh, who knows what else. So I'm going to be sleeping out here tonight. Uh, only thing is it's, uh, it's about one degree right now and it's kind of raining and it's kind of a mixture between rain and then it switches to snow. So it is pretty cold today and uh, our cabin's not heated yet. So I think it's supposed to get down to about minus three, minus four tonight, Celsius. <clears throat> so it's gonna be pretty chilly. So I hope I'm not too uncomfortable, but I do have a sleeping bag that's supposed to be rated for minus 10 degrees Celsius. So should be fine. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the ride. might wonder why I'm walking around with an axe. It's just for my own peace of mind. It's that time of year where the bears start waking up. And out here we have bears, black bears, uh, mountain lions, koi wolves, and uh, we've got some aggressive koi wolves. So a few years back, there was a girl doing a hiking trail and she actually got killed by the pack of koi wolves. She was a Celtic singer from Toronto and she was doing some backpacking around the area but uh, yeah so they're they're pretty aggressive I've never had any problems with them usually if I've been camping out they do surround my tent quite a few times and uh, but I usually sleep 
when I'm camping, I'll be doing bush clearing or something and I'll have a chainsaw. I usually just get out and start that and then they bugger off. But uh, yeah, bears are pretty hungry when they wake up. And do I kind of think I have a great chance against a bear with an ax? I got a better chance with an ax than without one. That's the way I kind of see it. So it's a little bit of peace of mind. Plus I like walking around with an ax. For signs of life, we've got some koi wolf scat here. Some of it looks old and some of it looks new. So, oh, there's more here too. So, they've been here recently, I'd say. So we'll keep our eyes out. Well, finally made it to Spring Mountain Ranch. My hands were freezing when I uh, started that. It was so cold and damp today. But after that hike, I'm toasty. <sighs> So here we are for the night. So I'm going to try to make a sort of a maple evaporator fireplace out of these things. Got to figure out where. <clears throat> Another thing that's on the list is I got this when I was clearing my dad's garage out. Uh, it says Cabela's on it. It was in a and just in a big mess in the garage. Anyways, I pulled it out. I'm assuming what it is, is like a camping outdoor uh, kitchen setup, like tables and stuff. That's what I'm kind of hoping it is. I looked in it and it looked like a series of tables. So that's what I'm figuring it is. <clears throat> I've kept it out here because uh, in case there's mice or something in it, but I'm gonna get that, uh, get that out, get that cleaned up and uh, hopefully set up a kitchen for inside the house, making my life easier. Okay, <sighs> got some uh, more buckets and some taps that we need to install, some mason jars. <sighs> I gotta figure out where I'm gonna set my cot up. Hello kitty cats. Hi. I'll be up to feed you in a minute. Got the professional mousers on the job. Okay. So, I'm trying to get this charged up because I'm going to need this for uh, running the lights tonight.
So it's shaping up to be kitchen. Where does this thing go? But look at all these bugs. These are all ants. Look at that. Holy. Hope a bird comes and uh hope a bird comes and takes care of that. Gotta get some chickens out here. Anyways, I'm gonna keep trying to get this thing together and then I'm gonna clean it off before I bring it in. Cause that's kind of gross. Okay, so I've got her set up. Uh, it's not completely closed, but uh, this is pretty much how it looks. It's pretty awesome, actually. So my dad passed away a couple of years ago and I went and cleaned up his place. And one of the places I cleaned up was his garage and uh, I saw this Cabela's thing in there. So I decided I was gonna take that. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be wicked in the, in the cabin, but it's got these two things that uh, they go, they're supposed to go underneath. Uh, like this section, but it's got mold all over it. So I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna probably spray some mold killer killer on it. And uh, once I get the wood stove hooked up next week, then I might attach it or I might not. I'm not sure if I like them. I'll uh, I'll have to think about that. But I'm gonna leave it over here so they can get in the sun. So I'm gonna set that up in the in the cottage there, and uh, I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Okay, guys. So here it is. Got my St. Patty's Day beers, some Irish stouts. It's gonna be delicious. Got some veg up here. Got uh, the cast iron pan, some garlic, coffee essentials, cooktop, cutting station, eating station, and then just some storage down there. Man. This thing is wicked, I love it. This is gonna make life here so much better until I have an actual kitchen set up. I think uh, even after I get the kitchen built in there, I'm still gonna like probably use this over at some micro cabin or maybe a log cabin or something like that till I have something built there. I don't think I'll ever take this camping just cause it's so big. I like to pack light when I camp. But uh, in this sort of situation, this thing is wicked. I don't really know what purpose of this these are but I'm just hanging some Oktoberfest sausage up there uh, but I don't know maybe I guess you could do really a lot with it maybe hang a water jug and just have gravity fed water coming down or something like that anyways it's gonna do nice it's fully functional cutting station cooking station eating station finally warmed up so it's charging now so I can have this thing running at night which is good okay so I'm gonna stack these um, I'm thinking over here uh, that's where I got the sap that I collected the other day I've got a uh, 10 gallons in that pail and then I've got to go collect some more see how much I get hopefully up to 20 gallons altogether here so I'm gonna set it up over there I'm gonna set this up too high and then I'm gonna try to create a chimney out of these things as well and stack that up maybe three or four high. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give her a go. So I'm gonna put her on a time lapse of me setting this thing up and uh, let's hope it works out good. Okay, so this is what I got going on. Obviously fire in here, and then if 
you can see that chamber at the back goes up. I'm hoping that this will work as a chimney or a double chimney kind of. And uh, with that back chamber, we'll create a draft. I don't know. So anyway, so I'll get a fire, fire going and uh, see how it does. So I just set some uh, off cuts of two by twos along the bottom because the gravel is pretty wet. And uh, I just like sticking wood underneath when the ground's wet. It just keeps the fire above and then it eventually burns down and we've got our bed of charcoals. So it should be fine. So the smoke is kind of, smoke is kind of going everywhere but it does seem to be predominantly coming out this chimney stack. It's coming out the front. I wonder if I can find something to stick at the front there just to help. It's working pretty good. I can see it's coming out the side here um, just because it's maybe not so even that, yeah, not too bad though. Yeah. I think this is going to work. We'll give it a go. So over here I've got about 10 gallons that I've already put in this tin. Oh no way. Oh 
shit. Okay, never mind. I've got about 10 gallons that I've lost. Maybe I've got about a gallon left. I guess this thing's not watertight. Oh, damn. I better quickly get some uh, more sap to put in this. Oh, you can tell we're on pretty pretty bad angle there too. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use this uh, lid that I was using to keep the, uh, or should I say not keeping the sap in the garbage can. Um, and it's almost like it's got, can draw air from here and then let it out here. Uh, the majority of the smoke is coming out here, which is quite nice. A little bit is coming out the front and there, but most of it's coming out there. So it's creating good draw. <clears throat> I'm happy with that. This is on an angle. So you can see that this is higher on this side, a lot shallower on this side. That was silly of me. I should do this over there. So I'm gonna try to uh, use this log. It's a bit damp. I couldn't find anything really dry. As like uh, a Swedish or Finnish, whatever you want to call it burning log because uh, what I want to do is put a, maybe a few rocks on here and then I'll put a pot on here and then I'll fill it with uh, tree sap that way because uh, I found when I I had this up to a boil and then uh, or not so much a boil as a steam and then when I poured more in obviously it cools it right down so if I can get this going then I'll be able to heat this up and I'll just take pots and just keep filling it up when it's all nice and hot. So we'll see how it goes anyways. <clears throat> Got some of this leftover stuff. I used it in the first fire as well. This is from when I was doing timber framing the other day. So if I can just get some of this stuff down in there. Mm, it'd be more challenging than I thought. Let's see how we go. I did it before, it was uh, really easy years ago, um, but it was an old, uh, what was it? It was either spruce or maybe it was a red pine or something. They used to have um, a tree company in Ontario 
I went to school for uh, boriculture, so arborist, climbing trees, you know, harnesses and all that. Uh, so I had a business doing that for years, and we used to always have big piles of wood at my mom's wood lot when we all lived in Ontario. And I used to take the old uh, but really dry softwoods, and I just use a chainsaw, cut them up like this, and then uh, just put a little newspaper or some bark, like some uh, some birch bark and stuff. I might throw some birch bark in this one too, actually. And uh, get her going, and put a couple of little rocks on there, and there you go. It's your own personal little burner that just keeps going, and uh, cook, you know, pasta and hot dogs and whatever. Well, here goes nothing. I've got her loaded up. I almost feel like I should have cut the holes. Uh, maybe I should have made them double wide or just went on a little bit of an angle every time I did them. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I kind of have my doubts. Um, just because I found it really hard to kind of squeeze all the stuff in there, like the bark and everything. But uh, we'll give it a go and uh, fingers crossed. Well, I'm just uh, trying to get a fire going in the center. I'm just hoping the embers will come down and then it'll eventually get going. Uh, I think it maybe is starting to work. Anyways, we'll give her a go. Over here, we've got a real good, oh, you probably won't be able to see it. Let's see here. You can see we're actually, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there we go. You can see we're actually boiling away here, which is really good. There's still some uh, residue, even though I've been using the filter. I did just bring the chainsaw over here and use it, so I probably got chainsaw or uh, sawdust in there. Um, I'm gonna have to filter it probably a couple more times, but uh, I'm hoping hoping this works, and then uh, we'll get a pot on there. If it works real well, then I'll cook it on there as well. Gravity fed spring water. You just can't beat that. Not an off grid homestead. Got Molly up here to keep me company until I gotta put her back in her pen when it gets a bit dark. Come here, sweetie. Come here. There you go. You're okay, you're okay. You're okay. Come here. I'm trying to get her more tame. I can pet her when she's in her stall. And I've been doing rope training with her but as soon as she leaves her stall and comes out or is if she's not on the rope then she gets really skittish <clears throat> but she still loves to wherever I go she follows me around so she likes to be near me but if she's not on the rope or if she's not in her pen she doesn't want to be touched you're okay. You eat that. I got work to do. I'm 
So it is working. There's a little bit of bubbling going on, which is means it's getting really hot and it's starting to pull that moisture out of the log. You can see it sizzling. So it at this from this point on, it'll just get better and better. But I'm gonna go collect some sap and then I think I'll get a pot on here. This is uh, kind of lost its bubble, bubbling, because I loaded it up. It was starting to get a little low. And I noticed as soon as I put new wood on, it lost that, that real heat. So I really loaded it up. So once it gets going, it should go for a very long time. That one was almost full. I'm making kind of like a steak sandwich. Turn that steak down a bit. Happy Saints Patty Day. One for me. A little bit for you.
jalapenos, you never know if they're gonna be hot. It's like, it's either like a sweet pepper or it's like, feels like it's a full on habanero. Anyways, we're going to full jalapeno on this one. It's not for you, darling. That'd be inappropriate. Okay? Silly cow. Oh, well, I'm drinking Irish stout, so that's good. Uh, you know what? I'm half Irish. The other half is English, Scottish, and German all mixed together. My mother's a Corcoran. She's, her family was from around Cork County. And then the Irish on my dad's side is O'Sullivan, and they're also from Cork County. So this is a perfect... Irish Canadian style day, I think. Mm. That Finnish uh, fire log is going really good now. This is boiling fiercely, and because it's on an angle, there's a bit of a pan, uh, it's completely dry up here, so I want to keep it uh, filled up. Over here, we're just getting steam on top. This is actually, that's warmer than lukewarm, so it's not going to be shocking the system as much as just pouring cold stuff, so, but it is still a shock for it, I guess. This is just really starting to get going good, so I'm going to put, I don't know, maybe four scoops in here. This will have to catch back up. Well, maybe five. Because so I want to get this, uh, I've got maybe four more buckets to, uh, to empty, and I Two of them have almost nothing in it. You can ch see she's uh, changing color, getting closer to uh, syrup one step at a time. Still quite a ways to go. But if I keep this uh, finished log going with this, boil that for a long time. It should be really easy to keep that boiling really good. So it's gonna take a little bit for that to get back up to boil, but better than putting it in cold. Come here, I'll show you what we're doing. Come on. So I grabbed the bucket, right? And I got this filter. So I'm trying to put the, you paying attention? Trying to put the sap in the filter, through the filter, in the bucket. Oh, whoa, this one's full. Uh, there we go. And then I pour it in. Try not to collapse it. Or, you know, are you paying attention? Molly. Oh, shoot. See, look what you made me do. it wasn't that Irish stout I just had. Hey, you're half Dexter, you're half Irish. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Huh? And you're half Jersey. So that's pretty close to the same island, but it's not. We're both part Irish, part English. Isn't that interesting? But we're Canadian. <laughs> ah, I don't think there's much in these two. Don't touch that. Nothing. And a drop. We'll take it. Won't we, Molly? We'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go put this in the pot to get warm. 
Excuse me. Out of the way. Good girl. Molly. Get cold again. It's supposed to be minus. Holy, that finished log is frying now. Oh, I lost my lid. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We boiling again? Yeah. Well, from the bottom up, but. Not at the top boiling. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up. What I'm worried about is, I don't know if it would happen like that though, because it seems to be just burning away at the end. So I guess it's a time game. Is this going to burn and break off? Knocking my pot off? I hope not. Lean it over to the bigger ones, I guess. Well, that's just simmering away. Should probably get some little sticks and fill up the inside of the uh, Swedish fire log there. This, I loaded up just before. It's starting to get going again. Uh, I'm starting to get a good steam. It's not quite that full on boil that I want, but I think they're good for now. I'm gonna leave them to their own devices for a moment. You see the Sun has already gone down over a little mountain over there. So I should probably set my bed up while there's still a bit of daylight. Ooh, it's getting dark in here. Um, I've got some lights rigged up that I run off solar generator. So I should probably plug them in.
that'll do. Oh, it's gonna be minus four tonight. But this blanket says minus 12 on it. So, in Banff, we have to live in Banff. That's where I met my wife, actually. <clears throat> She's Australian. I'm from Ontario. And we both went out west for an adventure. We're both working at a place called Buffalo Mountain Lodge. And uh, I was the woodsman. And she was the uh, housekeeper. I think that's what you call it. Anyways, yeah. One thing led to another. I ended up following her to Australia. And we lived there for oh, five years before we moved back. But uh, yeah, good times. This is my BAMP sleeping bag. Minus 12. We'll see. I think the... Yeah, I've definitely slept in the sleeping bag in about minus 8 weather. I don't think I was comfortable. You know, I was warm enough, but not enough to sleep really well. So I guess we'll see how we go tonight. Good thing about being in a house, even though it's not heated, there's no wind, there's no breeze. So, it shouldn't be too bad. So, I just put my finger in uh, the pot of sap that was on the finished log and it burnt my finger. So I put it all in there, but now I'm looking, that's a lot. Anyways, it's going to take probably, I don't know, maybe a few more hours to get that going. Oh well, it's alright. I'm here for the night. Starting to look like a hand, like straight out of Mordor. Look at that. Well, it's been hours now, and we've really boiled down, and it's not in that corner. That's all kind of warp in my pan, so I'm going to uh, strain it into the pot, let it cool down. Got all this flex from my scrape that with a spatula. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Maybe it was the wrong thing to do, I don't know. But I'm going to uh, move this and strain it into the pan with another strainer and let it cool down. And then I can put it into uh, some jars and uh, I can finish it on the stove if it's not already done. It looks, I don't know, maybe it is done. We'll see.
imagine that. Well, it's minus five right now, but it's only 9 p.m. So they said it was gonna get to about minus three or four. So it's probably gonna get to minus eight, but uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll get through it. So the syrup's cooled down, it's still quite dark. So, going to filter it to the jar here. Just trying to think about how to do that. Let's out. How to do that. Well, that's what we can do. Wait a minute, we can just use a coffee filter maybe. Okay, actually, never mind. Hey, that's a great idea. Okay. That should be good, right? Yes. Okay. This is an awesome coffee filter too, actually, because you can fill it up. <clears throat> and it uh, when I'm doing my coffee, I put it on my mug, and once it gets to where I want, I lift it up and it stops. So wow, awesome. Okay. We'll try this. Well, it looks like weak coffee. Well, it looks like pretty standard coffee. Okay. Watch this. This is awesome. That's awesome. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. It's probably gonna make my coffee taste wicked in the morning too. It's going to be a slow process. But it's gonna work. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I'm gonna check back with you once I have filled as much as this goes into jars, because this is slow but the filter works good so we could okay and i don't have to use i can save those for uh doing more of the straining of the buckets Okay, so all in all, I went through probably about 11 coffee filters because there's a lot of sediment in the uh, maple syrup. And I don't think that it's all the way there, but I think it's pretty close. It's super sweet, tastes amazing, really, really amazing. The flavor is <clears throat> I don't know if it's because it's fresh or because I did it myself. Like, it's in my head. I'm like, wow, I created this. It tastes amazing. But it does. It tastes amazing to me, at least. Anyways, it's, it's phenomenal. I was really worried that uh, there's going to be some uh, burnt sediment and uh, kind of a burnt taste to it. But it's a beautiful color. It's just... Yeah, no, actually, I'm super happy with it. No burnt taste. Um, one thing I'm worried about is it is... It's cold in here. <laughs> it's really cold in here. I think it's getting close to minus 9, might be minus 10 now. Um, but this is still warm. And uh, I know maple sugar doesn't... Um, like expand like water because it's got so much sugar it more crystallizes 
I should either keep it in the jars and put the jars in here. And if it does break, at least I can filter it again and filter out the glass or just be safe and dump it in. I think I'm going to dump it in. And then maybe I can uh, just put one of these big filters over the top. That's probably the thing to do. I'm going to go to the spring and just try to rinse this out a bit. so good oh my gosh oh that's so good holy oh, give me superpowers maple man okay and we'll put this on here keep any sediment out what that'll do there's no wind in here so it shouldn't uh shouldn't come off all right, I'm going to get to bed. Absolutely freezing in here. So I should get the sleeping bag and uh, have a good sleep. <coughs> well, it was cold last night. It's snowing. It must have warmed up a bit. My face was freezing. I had to keep sick of my face face under the blanket. Oh, I should get up and make some coffee. Beautiful out there. Snowy. Oh, it feels much warmer now. What is it? Minus five. Twenty two or it's at 24, 24 Fahrenheit. So it must have gotten to like minus 10 or something. Because it was cold last night, like cold, cold. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, maple syrup didn't freeze. Still a little runny, so it's got to get boiled down. Have enough to make coffee, please. No! Okay. Well, that sucks. It's hoping to have uh, coffee and breakfast, but uh, I ran out of uh, gas here and I don't have any extra ones. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to uh, fill these up and go boil the rest down at home if I can safely pack it up should be able to and uh, I think that'll be a good time to end the episode guys uh, if you enjoyed that give it a like and subscribe I hope to see you guys in the next one next episode I am going to be doing the concrete base for the wood stove and then installing the chimney and getting the wood stove in so this place is heated and things will run way more smooth smoothly around here anyways hope you guys have a great saint patty's day take it easy have a good one see you guys in the next one bye